Recently, I've, I've read these comments. They're becoming more and more frequent, guys, which is really quite a surprise to me. China is miles ahead of Tesla. Chinese EV companies are just so much better than Tesla. I actually read that today on actually on a BYD Facebook group. A lot of them have been saying this. A lot of people have been saying this about Chinese EVs. You know, the new Xiaomi EV, it's amazing. Uh, there's EVs, say the Geely Zika 001, that's incredible, and I've got to admit it is way better than the Xiaomi SU7 in my opinion. But anyway, are they right? I mean, are these car companies way more advanced than Tesla? Well, here's the thing. They haven't made a profit. None of them made a profit. I mean, we've got these long running companies like Xpeng and uh, Neo. They've been around since 2014. There's not many EV companies in China. In fact, only a few, only a handful that are not owned by big conglomerates like Geely, you know, Geely had the brand Zika, and then you've got companies like Aon. Aon are selling a lot of cars in China, a lot of EVs, but they are owned by parent company GAC, who also manufacture and sell internal combustion cars. Same with Geely. So the only EV only companies that exist in China, such as Neo and Xpeng, are still losing billions of dollars. For example, Neo lost $3 billion last year, Xpeng just under $1 billion. And that leads me to my point here. It's not necessarily the product itself, but it's your ability to not lose money. We know that Legacy Auto, they're all losing money on electric cars. We know that um, none of them have ever made a profit selling EVs. We know that there are no Chinese EV companies making a profit. Uh, BYD, 50% of their car sales are still internal combustion. Uh, they are hybrids or plug-in hybrids. So we don't even know, to be honest, if BYD is making a profit selling EVs. They don't release that information and say, well, actually, we made this much money on plug-in hybrids. We made this much money on EVs. They just put it in one bucket. So we think they do, but we don't know for sure. Tesla is not as far behind. In fact, it's not behind at all. And the reason is this. Rather than focusing on uh, newer, more exciting technology, Tesla has been focusing on manufacturing efficiency. Uh, now, it's all well and good to have do what Neo does um, and have you know many, many different models and bring out new models constantly. But if you're making a $3 billion loss every year, then how long can you do that for? How long before you got to do what Neo does and go back to the drawing board and beg investors for money? Neo have literally been begging people for money over the last six months. There's only so long that investors will say, you know what, um, this is the 10th time you've come to us. Uh, we're not going to give you any more. The bucket is empty now. And that is the reason why Tesla continue to focus on manufacturing efficiency. It's the reason why they are getting rid of the production line. Now, the production line, every single car in the world that's mass produced is mass produced on a normal production line. What Henry Ford had, right? He, he made the production line at the start. Now, the certain, you know, the chassis would be made, and then as the, the car goes along the production line, different parts would be added over time. And that's what we've stuck with for the last more than 100 years now. So what we've been doing, now Tesla are not going to do this. They're reinventing the way we manufacture electric cars. The $25,000 Tesla EV, we all thought, okay, they're going to make it a mega cast, one enormous casting. That'll reduce production costs. Uh, they'll manufacture lithium ion phosphate batteries in the United States, licensing technology from CATL. That'll help as well. Uh, they'll do things like they'll use giga castings as well. That'll help. But ultimately, the biggest thing that will enable Tesla to make a profit, not just sell them, but make a profit on millions of $25,000 cars is reinventing the way we put the car together getting rid of the production line, all of it. They're gonna get rid of all of it and do things in a very, very different way. They're calling it an unboxed approach. I don't like that phrase unboxed. It just sounds kind of like Ikea, like unboxed from Ikea. Okay, you've unboxed it, great. It doesn't really do it any justice. Tesla is very different to other manufacturers. It basically invented the giga casting process. And now other car manufacturers in China have said that was a great idea. We're going to do the same thing. They've made orders and they now have gear casting machines that they purchased from Tesla Supply in Italy. It's a really good idea. Now, companies, um, a lot of companies said it wouldn't work, but it has. It's in fact enabled unrivaled efficiency. It's enabled much lighter vehicles that are more structurally rigid and better when it comes to having a crash. However, 
The reason that Tensor's manufacturing process, this new one is called Unboxed, is because it does away with having a rectangular box, um, a roll down a traditional assembly line past various stations where parts are added on. So there won't be that kind of an assembly line. What Tesla wants to do instead is assemble different sections of a vehicle at the same time in dedicated areas of the factory, and then bring a handful of large sub-assemblies together at the end. So there'll be may maybe like four different stations. The vehicle will move somehow, I'm guessing robotically from one station to the other station to the other station. In a sense, there still is a production line, but what it will mean is Tesla will do more things at once. And at the end, they'll actually you know, put all the car together. So the idea here, guys, is this. It probably doesn't sound all that revolutionary to you at all. It, it probably doesn't sound all that exciting, but here's the thing. Small, less factory space saves money. Having less things to do, so less actual stops, reasons for the car to stop, that saves enormous amounts of money. If you can produce a car in, say, 10 minutes, that's what Tesla does on Model Y in right now, about 10 minutes, that will save you enormous amounts of money. The CEO of Volkswagen Group revealed that was a big difference between Tesla and Volkswagen. He's been fired now, by the way, but he revealed that the big difference was this. It takes Volkswagen just around 32 minutes to manufacture an electric car. He said he went to Tesla's factory and it took them about 10 minutes. But Tesla want to cut that time in half, cut it down to five minutes, get that vehicle, from the point that it's made to the point that it exits the factory to last five minutes. And then you can produce twice as many cars in the same factory. And that's the kind of efficiency you want because you still have the same number of employees. By the way, a lot of those employees will probably be robots by that the time the Model 2 is here. You still have the same number of employees, but they're producing twice as many cars. So what is the biggest cost to Tesla? Number one cost is staff, labor, employees. That's how you half the cost of staff by producing twice as many cars in the same amount of time. That's why this is revolutionary. And that's why it will halve production costs and require 40% less space as well because they'll be doing more things in one spot than a traditional car factory with the same output. That's what Tesla is saying. It will bring down its manufacturing costs and enable it to continue making billions of dollars in profit when its rivals are coming up with great vehicles that we love and we think they're amazing, but losing billions of dollars every single year. What's Ford losing on electric cars? $35,000 per car, that's US dollars. What's the industry average? Now, people are saying the industry average is 6,000 US dollars in losses per car. I don't believe that's true. I think that's being very kind to Legacy Auto because that was a consultancy company that are employed by Legacy Auto. I think they're being nice. I think the average is closer to ten thousand US dollars. But to get from the point of um, ten thousand dollars in losses to ten thousand dollars in profit, which is what you want ideally, you need to radically change the way you do things, and that is why Tesla is in fact ahead. Even though a lot of these people say, no, 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 China's ahead. Actually, the reality is, when it comes down to it, if you can make something that's amazing, that's great. But if you can only do it while making a loss, well, it's not going to be great for long. 